Hello, I'm Dr. Walter Bortz. I'm a senior Stanford internist, went to Penn Medical School, graduated over 50 years, and I've seen an awful lot of diabetes, and it's getting worse. Before, it started just as a little flicker. Now it's a flame. It's an inferno now. And it's on everybody's list because it's a big deal. It's a leading cause of kidney failure, leading cause of blindness, and it's a huge cost. It shortens life 15 years. So we got to get a handle on it. And the answer to it is not going to be through treatment, not through what I and my doctor friends at Stanford do. It's prevention. Don't get it in the first place. So that's why we're making this show here, to get kids involved, to prevent it. We need your help to prevent this awful disease. It's very clear that the cause behind our diabetes epidemic right now is obesity. We've always had occasional chubby people, but now there are armies of them. All of us are aware of that. Every place we are, there's too much stuff hanging over our belts. And that's obesity, and the causes of obesity are two. Too much food and not enough exercise. We're riding all the time. Nobody walks to school anymore. When I was a kid, everybody walked to school. Now it's unusual. So we have to take that on. And kids, there are no better place to start with you. Walk to school. Well, we need to get education. We need to have opportunity. We need good stores. We need to avoid the fast food restaurants. You know, I love my Big Macs. But they're too good and they're too cheap. And they're not good for us. They're concentrated calories. So we need to watch out with food we eat. We need better food at home. We need better stores to give us that. And we need to use our paths and bike whenever we're able to. Everything starts with kids. We've had four kids and nine grandkids now. We see them coming up. And what patterns they take in their life determines not only what their life is going to be, but the life of their family. So it's not us old folks telling you what to do. I'm encouraging you to take on the job to help your parents and your grandparents. I want my kids to be a youth health advocate. I go to some of these Samaritan clinics and my patients are these young chubby mamas with young chubby children and they're in there to get a pill from me. So we have abdicated the responsibility to our medical profession, my profession, which is bad. So please know that early. You have to own this problem. It's your problem and you're the solution. Now, if we could all be a champion, we're all out in front doing something to make this world better. That's what a youth health advocate is all about.